I really can't think of another time, uh, you know, over the last 20, 30 years, where so many people, you know, uh, connected with India in various ways have come together. Uh, I think by all indications, uh, you know, it uh, seems to be uh, the most uh, challenging humanitarian crisis we've had in uh, uh, independent uh, India. There really are public health infrastructure, much like public education infrastructure in the rural areas, has really deteriorated quite substantially. And so in some ways, I see this as an opportunity. Every dollar that anybody you know, gives right now, 100% of it is going to Nirman, and all of that is going directly to these you know, hospitals and other locations where this help is desperately needed. So with the 10-bed ICU, um, you know, while it is a very important uh, aspect of sort of addressing the immediate crisis, which is providing that much needed capacity uh, in the rural areas, it's also going to become a, a critical part of the public health infrastructure uh, that will survive well beyond the pandemic. I live in the Bay Area. Um, I'm part of this uh, social group that we call ourselves the Duck and Dunkers. We are a you know, basketball group. So Duck and Dunkers really formed as an organization, I would say, in the 19, around 1990, 1991. And our goal was basically to play basketball wherever we can. I don't play that basketball anymore, but the rest of the group has continued to do that. And since then, anything that we do, uh, so we call ourselves Deccan Riders now because we've been doing a lot of riding on bikes. Um, we call ourselves a Deccan Development Fund whenever we raise funds for the any of these uh, charity events that we do. There is an urgent need uh, for things like oxygen and, and uh, PP, etc. And um, obviously, you know, we are addressing some of that. Uh, but there's also, you know, beyond the short term, we also want to think about longer term. Um, how can we do, you know, um, something that, you know, not just temporary, but, you know, we can make a uh, difference that, that lasts for a few years or several years. And uh, that's when, uh, when, when we saw Nirman's plans and Nirman's um, programs. One of the programs that was very attractive to all of us is uh, this IC, 10-bed ICU. I think that's an ideal fit for what we're trying to do in rural settings, especially. I mean, the big cities uh, do get their help from bigger, big, bigger organizations and then corporations, et cetera. But, you know, not many are focusing on the rural areas. And, uh, you know, um, the opportunity to, you know, set up a 10-bed ICU, I think you know, that's, that's very, very compelling. So th there is this uh, old saying from Muhammad Ali who basically says, service to others is the rent you pay uh, for your room here on earth. And I think that's actually very apt, right? I mean, we are looking at a situation where I don't think there has been ever a time in the last 100 years, maybe you have to go all the way back to the uh, Spanish flu, when you would see this kind of a need uh, where everybody else has to really figure out what their role is. This is all of our responsibility to do something about it, whether it's a small contribution, big contribution. I think every dollar helps and every dollar helps save lives. So. I urge everybody to participate either through monetary donations or active involvement in some fashion or the other.